Since January of 2022, we have seen an increased need even over and above what we experienced with COVID and the pandemic. Feeding America is a challenge these days. Families are budgeting for food and the organizations set up to help them are really struggling to keep up with all the demand. Fox 8's Aaliyah Sims stopped by some local food pantries and nonprofits here in the Piedmont Triad today to get a closer look at the trends causing them trouble. Yeah, here at Backpack Beginnings, the program director has seen the number of Guilford County students meeting and signing up for weekend food bags shoot up by the hundreds. And that was in the last few weeks. Now, I can tell you each place that I stopped at, they had either empty or bare shelves. And it's something that the leaders of these organizations say they've never experienced. We have generally always had four to eight weeks of food on hand in advance. And now, right now, we are about one week out at the time. I got a tour of what Backpack Beginnings does have at its Greensboro location. What these volunteers are boxing up is limited. As we get the food donations in, they are flying off the shelves as fast as we're getting them. It's a similar struggle at the Second Harvest Food Bank. In the 18 counties that we serve, we are seeing an increase in requests for assistance um, you know, over the last multiple months. It's just uh, challenging times with inflation, um, food shortages, and that type of thing. Both organizations have seen new faces come through their doors. We have seen a lot uh, of families who have not visited a food pantry before visit them, say, you know, things are just tough, I need a little help. And we're all, you know, a paycheck away from doing just that. At a time when we are preparing to gather around a table to celebrate a holiday centered around food, families worry their Thanksgiving will be different. It melts your heart. I mean, you know, some days you don't feel like coming in doing this, but once you see that person on the other end so happy and so appreciative to receive that meal. It makes it all all better to serve families. You need volunteers. I would say anywhere between 100 to 200 volunteers come through our facility every single week to help us do what we do. We do anywhere from 600 to 1200 meals a day, so that can be, you know, a little overwhelming. So the more people to come out to help us, it would be such a relief of my staff and I and we can just get everyone fed, the more hands, the merrier. Now, Backpack Beginnings has opened a family market where people can come in and shop for the items that they need. Now, the organization is also hosting an open house community event, and that'll be Tuesday, December 6th, where you can get tours, and you can also learn how you can help get involved and volunteer, and also the donations needed. Live here in Greensboro, Aaliyah Sims, Fox 8 News. All right, Aaliyah,